Allez. I manage several companies across Asia with staff from different nationalities, backgrounds, and cultures. I wear three hats. Officially, they are top management, entrepreneur, and investor. However, I like to define my roles as creating diversity, increasing choices, and choosing the best. Diversity opens up new opportunities. By working with different types of people, we can go beyond the limits of our imagination. Diversity enables us to enhance the quality of our decisions. By adopting a wide variety of viewpoints, we can avoid the trap of self-righteousness, the belief that I always know the best. This is quite important in both working and private lives. Today, I'm going to share with you what I have learned about how to limit yourself for unlimited results when dealing with the issue of diversity. The first lesson is to limit your assumptions. The first country I lived in outside of Japan was China. When I started living in Shanghai, I took a taxi to get to a location in suburbs for a meeting. I asked the taxi driver, do you know how to get there? His answer was full of confidence. Yes, I know. However, he stopped his taxi five times during the drive to ask for directions. I couldn't understand why he didn't just admit to me he didn't know. Moreover, he started blaming me by saying, the map I showed to him was out of date, and my pronunciation of Mandarin was bad. <laughs> Another example. It was the first Sunday after I moved to Madrid, Spain. I was thirsty and went out to get a drink. I didn't expect there to be a big challenge in this simple task. To my surprise, most of the shops were closed. I wandered around the city for half an hour before I could get a drink. I was shocked to know that Sunday in Spain is not one of the busiest days for business. We are all slaves to our preconceptions. In a new environment, we automatically apply our cultural intuition and past experiences to figure it out. It's better to understand that our idea of common sense is just one pattern among many. Socrates said, all I know is that I know nothing. This is a good mantra in interacting with new people, situations, and cultures. There's usually a common sense reason behind situations or behaviors that you don't understand. If there is something that doesn't make sense to you, it may be that you are lacking information. The Chinese taxi driver didn't want to lose face. 
The Catholic tradition is behind the limit on commerce on Sundays in Spain. By limiting your assumptions, you can open up learning opportunities that can be applied to other occasions. The second lesson is to limit how far you will compromise and adapt. Embracing diversity doesn't mean sacrificing your own identity. Paradoxically, in order to embrace diversity, you have to first set your own boundaries. For example, in many countries in the world, and I experienced it in China, bribes and kickbacks are widely accepted. It may be a good option to do business smoothly. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. However, on the other hand, you have to protect your core values. When international businesses want to work together, it is because they each bring something different to the table. You don't have to transform yourself into a local just in order to do business and risk losing your own identity. So, in this situation, what would you do? There's no black and white, no one correct answer. It depends on your core values and what, what kind of person you want to be. You have to find your own bearings and it's not only with ethical issues. Do you put emphasis on profit or social responsibility? Do you give priority to individualism or collectivism? Everybody has their own answers to the same questions. It's up to you to set your own boundaries and be responsible for your decisions. This is particularly important for leaders and it's not an easy task. You have to represent people from different nationalities, backgrounds, and cultures. Moreover, they have different motivations and interests. It's your role to set the core values of your group and make sure they uphold them. Not everyone will agree. Some might find th themselves out of the boundaries which you have created and opt to leave. Don't be afraid. It's part of the process of cultivating your group's unique culture. On top of that, the more experienced you become at making these kind of difficult decisions, the better leader you will become. Thank you.